Now when I wanted to buy my car, I needed to save 500,000 Jamaican dollars for a deposit, which I saved in like 6 months. And this is no means of me boasting. But now it's 2024 and you probably want to start saving more. Maybe for a car, for a business, house deposit, or maybe a trip to Italy, whatever it may be. So I'm going to share my five tips to help you save more in 2024. So let's go. Number one, set a timeline. Now life's a mix of dreams, reality checks, and a constant juggling act especially in our 20s. And that's why I think that having a savings timeline is something worth doing. We've all got goals, whether it's living in a nice apartment or exploring the globe or just having a cushion for those ja, -ja moments. <laughs> no, a timeline transforms those dreams from wishes into a clear plan. It's like saying, I'm locking in X amount by this date. Giving your aspirations a roadmap and a deadline so they're not floating in the endless, maybe someday zone. The truth is, most of us aren't financial gurus, and that's all right, trust me. Because what you really need to do is be practical, make a plan, and just put in a little bit of hustle. A defined timeline creates a sense of urgency and discipline, motivating you to adhere to a structured savings plan. Number two is use the right savings account. Now, when I was on my car deposit saving goal, I would do anything to get an extra dollar on my cash. So if that was putting it in a bond or in some stocks that pay dividends or even a partner, then sign me up because I needed that extra money. The thing with those options though, while they are great, it wasn't liquid. Meaning if I did stocks, there is no guarantee that when I am ready to sell, I would get a buyer. And also if stock prices go down, then what happened? With bonds now, they generally have a lockup period, so I can't get access to that initial money. Then now with the partner, we all know that we have to wait an our turn, and then it's even worse if people mess up the draw or people late. But eventually, I went with stocks in the end because it's something that I was familiar with, something that I was comfortable with, and I saw a stock that could help me with my goals. So when I was doing my saving goal, I wish I had an account like the JMMB Bonus Saver. Now it's a savings account designed to not only safeguard your funds, but also make them grow. Now qualifications are simple for personal use. You can kickstart your savings journey with a minimum deposit of 1,000 Jamaican dollars, 100 US dollars, 100 Canadian dollars, 100 Euro or 100 pounds. Also, you can enjoy hassle-free access with freedom of free deposit, withdrawals, and check encashment in branch up to 1 million Jamaican dollars. So no more pesky maintenance fees, minimum balance requirements, and our account dormancy fees. Your money is meant to grow, not shrink. So reap the rewards with continuous interest payments, including bonus interest paid out twice a year. It's like a little financial treat just for you. Number three is pay yourself first. Now, whenever I would get paid, a little budgeting hack that helped me save was to prioritize me by paying myself first. So what is this exactly? The budgeting technique, pay yourself first, is a financial strategy that prioritizes saving money before allocating funds to other expenses. Instead of saving whatever is left after paying bills and covering other expenditures, this approach involves setting aside a portion of your income for savings as a top priority. And here's how it works. So you're going to define a saving goal. You're going to determine a specific percentage or amount of your income that you want to save regularly. Second is you're going to automate the savings. So you're going to set up an automatic transfer or deduction from your income to your savings account as soon as you receive your paycheck. So this ensures that your savings are consistently funded before you have a chance to spend the money elsewhere. And third, you budget with the remaining amount. So after paying yourself first, you use the remaining income to cover your living expenses like bills and other financial obligations. Now this helped me a lot because it placed my goal as an emphasis because what's the point of working so hard only for everybody to get your money before you? Now my fourth money saving tip is plan your days months in advance. Now to actually save money, I had to know where my cash would go each month. Basically trying to reduce as much surprises as possible in the upcoming month. 
if an expense is accounted for, then boom, no stress for me or anything to derail my car saving goals. Now, some people may call this budgeting, but I found out that the word budgeting is a turn off word for most people. So instead of budgeting, I want you to use the phrase action plan. Now, it injects intentionality into your financial habits, providing a clear roadmap for allocating funds. Now, this foresight will prevent impulsive spending and ensuring your money aligns with your priorities. So by knowing where each dollar goes, you cultivate disciplined spending, creating room for consistent savings contributions. Moreover, a monthly plan allows you to identify potential pitfalls and make necessary adjustments and stay on course toward your financial objectives. It transforms savings from a vague aspiration into a concrete plan, turning each month into a step forward on your journey to financial success. And number five, attach your savings to a goal. I had a major goal in mind. The goal was my car and the down payment. Saving can be a boring activity, and if goals aren't serious enough, we tend to lose focus and may end up spending that money on foolishness. I thought about all the joy I would have from getting this new car and how I would look in it and how fast it was. And trust me, that was enough to even cut back on groceries just to save more. I remember not turning on the lights in the house and just use the flash on the phone. <laughs> and I remember splitting my lunch in two parts so that I could save on dinner. The point is that goals make the mission of saving much easier and attainable. So what is your goal and is it big enough to make saving a priority? Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you found some value in it. Do me a favor though, you see that subscribe button down below, ring it so that you could be a member of this channel and also ring the notification bell so that you could be updated whenever I release these future millionaire gems. Until next time, work hard, make money and happy investing. Pssst.